Hi Virgo, thank you so much for um, joining me here in the extended reading. Um, let's look at further the uh, situ this um, you know part. Th that's part one. This is part two. So let's look at further the energy of your person and yourself and what's their next move. Okay, I really want to clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse. Nine of Wands. Um, I feel like after you had a fight, you know, I feel like your person is still. When you had a fight, when you had a misunderstanding, when things were falling apart in the recent past, I feel like in spite of that, I, I can really confirm that your person is still open to negotiate. And I feel like you as well, because this is sitting in your person's energy. Although your person is somehow disappointed or they're somehow aloof to you or avoiding you, but in their energy is still um, a strong um like a, there's still a strong vibe that in spite of what you and them went through, they're still open to connect with you. And that's sitting in the past. So from the past to the current energy, they're not over you. Okay, they're not over with you in the situation. I don't think they will ever be over of this until they understand you or until you understand them. Okay, there's some sort of I want to be understood. Okay, because this is you, you, you magnifying glass, you know. Um. Okay. So, yeah, awakening, and then you've got the two of swords. In the current energy, your person is, I'm not done with you, Virgo. It's just that I don't know how to handle you. I don't know it. I don't, I don't exactly know what to say or express my feelings. I'm, out, I'm open to connect, but I'm understanding what to say, what to connect, what to explain. So they're in the process of that, okay? Yeah, look at that. Ace of Pentacles, your person is very sad to miss the opportunity. So I'm telling you right now, Virgo, in the immediate future, probably, um, in the immediate future, you know, I feel like I'm hearing the word coming soon. In the immediate future, when you and your person will talk, you know, it's a red flag. I'm telling you right now, Six of Swords, Page of Swords. <clears throat> I want you to remember this. What's the point of connecting? What's the point of connecting or talking if you're just going to fight? Okay? So, because your person is that, I'm going to talk. We're going to talk. You know, we're going to connect. If it's just going to lead to fight, then I might just check out. So avoid the blaming. You know, be very, really constructive with your criticism. Be open-minded. Because four of pen, your person is four of them. You know, four of, cup, four of cups, ace of pentacles. It means that I don't want to miss the opportunity again. So let's talk. Let's talk, not fight. Let's talk, not blame. Let's talk and be understood. Okay? You have a point. They have a point. Okay, so take it easy, slow, steady is the approach. Okay, you've got the justice card. Yeah, I really, really worry that when you connect in the immediate future, that one of you will trigger each other to be mad or to be angry. Please avoid that. Try to make this as opportunity to clean up and to be understood, to be understand, not to be understood. One of you will act impulsively, okay? In justice card in reverse. Eight of Wands. <laughs> when I said one of you will act impulsively, this is sitting in your energy. So really avoid being so impulsive. Really be careful on what you said and be open-minded with an open talk. You know, like when they talk, when they said that, take a bit of while, think, and then you react, you know? An open talk think before you react your person is coming towards you with four of cups ace of pentacles i don't want to lose you very good just because of that your person is coming to an energy where i don't want to lose us just because of that like it's it's not fair for our feelings or for love to lose each, to lose each other it's 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 where it's more do you want to lose me just because of this argument this this indifference this can be fixed okay so it's it's like four of cups, ace of, Pent ace of pentacles, your person is that. I cannot believe that we will break up because of this. Like, would you lose me because of this? Okay. So they're aiming for one goal. And that one goal is to want to be understood, not to be criticized. An open though, an open mind. Let's see the, their next action. They've got the magician card. Next move, next action. The star card, they're really very hopeful that you could still forgive them. They're very hopeful that the feelings that you have with one another is strong enough 
to allow them to explain, to be forgiven, to be understood. I feel like this person is worried that they will totally lose you. You know, they have the feeling of four of cups. You know, sad if they lose you because of what took place in the past. Like, it's so sad that you and you and me, Virgo, cannot be together or cannot talk or cannot understand or cannot love each other because of that. You know, it's 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 that statement. Like, can you really allow, can you really lose me because of that? Something of that energy. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. I feel like the first part, when you, I feel like this is a settlement. <clears throat> I feel like this is a settlement or this is some sort of negotiation. It's not going to be easy, most especially if, you know, Queen of Swords in reverse, you know. You know that the Queen of Swords in reverse, this is a B.I. T C H card for me. So if your your person acted really really not nice to you, it's normal for you to react like you know fight back or eight of wands like what do you really want? So I see you full of energy to not just connect but also find out why they do that. You know you're quite feisty in here. You know in the immediate future I'm seeing you, I'm seeing you very feisty. Okay, and that's normal if most especially if this person did something not nice to you so they can trigger you know hermit card in reverse they can trigger you to act um beyond you know it's like the hulk <laughs> you are quiet and then they trigger you and you become the hulk you know so um they're scared to approach but i'm seeing them magician card they're very hopeful that they could be forgiven eight of pentacles if you allow this person to let if you allow this person to come in um they will work hard to get your attention, to get your respect, to get you to trust them, okay? So in short, when you and this person connect, when you regroup with this person, take it easy, take it slow, don't rush. You know, air your side. Once you air your side, it once, you know, there is no point of what I say this, because I really feel like you like this person or you're still in love with this person otherwise you wouldn't not be you will not be here in the extended reading if you don't like this person you cannot love and like the person and hate them at the same time so if you will allow this person to connect with you because they will connect with you again you know this person will connect to you if you are just gonna play hard to get if you're just gonna make it difficult for them if you're gonna act very guarded then there's no point of connecting okay you got to have an understanding. You need to have an understanding, Virgo, that once you allow this person to connect again, it's automatically you're giving them a chance. Yep. You know, why would you talk? You know, what's the point of talking, right? So this is, you know, in short, it's more of they will try. But if in the beginning you keep blocking or pushing them away, then you will never experience the Eight of Pentacles. Okay? You can be limited you know, you can set boundary so you do not get hurt. But don't block. Because if you block, then you would miss this opportunity. And I don't think that's what you want. I think what you want is to make this person feel something that they did something wrong. So they need to feel this from me. Like, it's it's a normal reaction that if you had a fight, you're not going to be romantic right away. There is this awkwardness or aloof energy. But don't push them away. You cannot... You cannot stay longer in that hate energy. You would have to find forgiveness and acceptance. It's not about your person. Forgiveness and acceptance, it's about us. It's about you because it's it's very good for our soul. Okay? If someone wrong you, okay? You know, if 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 someone wrong you, Virgo, and you imagine that one day you're going to get a karma because you wrong me, then you are giving this person a second chance to hurt you mentally. I hope it's my, that makes sense. So if someone wrong you, because we're only human, when someone wrong you, try to really let go. You know, the universe have some systematic approach on how karma works, the law of, the law of attraction, okay? So in this reading, this person is willing to make an effort. But how will you be able to explain this? I mean experience that if you will block them you know like if they will try to connect with you they will pursue you but you block you block you block this is you you know this is you charging block block like you're connecting you know it's i see your energy in here you're connecting to them you're talking to them 
you're connecting to them but you're playing hard to get you're playing like you're you're cold you know and you know have if you look at them the star card they feel and they understand that in the beginning it's gonna be awkward but at some point if you're gonna play hard to get you know all the time there's no point they will go and you will miss this opportunity again everything heals so i hope your whatever you feel towards this person if they wrong you it would heal if you guys if you if you're in short don't ever connect if you're not ready because how many times would, would you have an opportunity to connect with someone you know this person will connect with you okay and if you're you and this person will just give each other an experience of ego playing hard to get then what's the point of connecting so this is the this is the vibe i'm getting in here that there's so much potential but in the in, in the immediate future like look at the cards of your person i will make an effort i'll say sorry i'm scared scared i hope to be accepted again in you you're quite feisty in here but i wish that you wouldn't stay too much in here otherwise you will miss this opportunity again an opportunity for your person to show to you that you know they've got something to prove that they've changed because i see your person trying but if you keep block block or holding back or if you display an act of not yet open um eight of swords they will be very confused they will be in the dark and they will probably disappear they will try they will try but if they don't see a reciprocal interest from you they will disappear okay so you can stay a bit of you know there is a gap you know when when two person had a misunderstanding it's gonna be awkward in the beginning you know baby step but you know the the, the energy i'm getting from your person is you know they're coming they're coming to you and you are stepping back okay so make sure that if you connect with this person make sure that you're ready if you're not ready at all then don't connect because you might just miss the chance um so this is your reading good luck to you um and yeah take it easy take time if you feel like you need to heal then you need to heal you know if you feel like you're not ready to talk then you have to tell this person i'm not ready to talk but don't start something you meant to end and don't start something and at the middle of that you're just gonna hold back because i'm sitting i'm seeing uh, i'm seeing in here a lot of holding back i'll see you soon virgo you have a good day bye bye